All month long, we will be celebrating Black History Month at WCNC Charlotte. This week, we continue our discussion on education. We've talked about the STEM industry and its staggering numbers surrounding lack of diversity. Aisha Scott takes a closer look at those numbers and the importance of representation. As a black female meteorologist, I didn't grow up seeing me, and oftentimes that led to doubt and frustration. But little did I know it was becoming part of my purpose to give little girls who look like me an opportunity to see themselves. Upper 20s to right around 30 degrees. The lack of diversity doesn't end in the meteorology field. The STEM industry as a whole has a lot of work to do. According to an analysis by Undark, the number of bachelor's degrees awarded to black students in a STEM field peaked in the early 2000s and has been falling ever since. Abby Olukea is the founder and CEO of Smart Girls HQ, an organization helping to bridge the gender and resource gap for girls in STEM. It was support at home. They also felt um, that their teachers or parents were not supportive of their choice um, in a STEM career, much more than um, the other students did. Olukea says exposure is key to encouraging more girls into STEM. According to a study conducted by the Girl Scouts, 48% of African-American girls are more likely to know someone in a STEM career compared to 61% of Caucasian girls. Only 18% of African-American girls have one or both parents in a STEM career. I, I think honestly it, it's exposure um, as early as possible. Um, but it's also that intentional safe space to experiment. As a mother of two daughters, she allows her girls to do just that, experiment. It's not uncommon for me to walk into my freezer, open my freezer and see like a baggie of lotion that's been frozen <laughs> because they want to see what happens <laughs> when, when you freeze lotion. I talked to another mom, Sona Spencer, and her daughter, Michaela, about the importance of representation. It's critical as parents for me and my husband to make sure she's getting opportunities. If you can't see it, you can't be it. Michaela has participated in STEM camps along with other STEM activities, which has actually increased her confidence in school. The difference that I saw was that I was getting really good at my math and I was having more confidence in myself. Reporting in Charlotte, I'm Aisha Scott for WCNC Charlotte.